I built the Tower Bridge in No Man's Sky. As you can see, there's a nice smooth carved suspension bridge. The tower sections themselves are quite straightforward to build. I only use the two variants of the wire glitch, which means it shouldn't be too difficult to build. And of course, you don't have to build the same bridge as me, you can make it shorter or longer. I've got stone at either end and in the middle, and 10 wooden panels in between. So let's start with the wire framework at one end, and all the console wire glitch buttons will pop up in the bottom left corner. With green state of flow panel, then hit wire and place at the same time. Carefully pull the wire to the centre of the other panel. Now you're free to delete the flow panel. Green state another flow panel, do the reverse wire glitch again, pull that wire to the other end of the angled wire. Now you're free to delete the angled wire. Select a small flow panel, go into the wire menu, select the pickup point and hit wire and place at the same time to do the wire glitch. Attach a thin stone wall underneath and one to the side. Now delete the small floor panel and the thin stone wall and place a small stone wall at the bottom. And then from the bottom of that small stone wall, we're going to create wires using the small stone floor panel. When you've done one, Place a small stone wall on top of it, delete the one underneath, and then create three more wires. Then we're going to wire glitch a small stone floor panel to the long wire, then repeat what we did underneath, but this time for above. but working from the top of the small stone wall. When you get to this point, you want to work up another two small stone walls. So you should have six short wires above the long wire and four short wires below the long wire. And just in case, let's create another long wire by attaching three raised pavers, attaching a floor panel to the top, and then coming down, two small walls. And then move that wall to the lower snap. Now we can create a new wire with the reverse wire glitch. Now we're going to wire glitch pillites to the outer end of the wires. And these are going to act as a guide for the curved bridge. I've used blue for down and red for up. Of course you can change it to create a different type of curve, but we'll go into more detail on that in the next section. Now select a small wall and green state it. Do the reverse wire glitch and pull the wire to the first blue pillite. Select the floor panel. Go into the wire menu, find the pickup point and do the wire glitch. Select a small floor panel, snap it to the side, move the floor panel forward half a step. You can now delete the wire or leave it until you've done the other wire. But basically you're going to go down each of the blue pill lights. If your bridge is shorter, you can have a different arrangement where the pill lights are going to be for a different angle. And if your bridge has to be longer, you can put the wire set up further out. But either way, this is a good time to test on one side. But we'll go into that in more detail at the end of this section.
You've just done the last blue pill light. Now it's time to move on to the red pill light, so we're heading back up. And when your carve starts to move upwards, when moving the floor panel, you best to go underneath so you can find the upper snap point. And as you'll see here with the last one, the angle isn't right. So I'm going to change that green pill light to a red pill light. Redo that whole one. Of course, going underneath to find the upper snap point. And as you can see, that's going to blend nicely at the end. Now I've done one half of the bridge and it's got a lovely curve on it. I can move to the other end, which is probably closer to the bridge setup that you're going to have, so you're going to have to dig out from underneath. Recreating the same wire setup and placing the pill lights that you now know are perfect. But you've seen me do it one side, you don't really need to see the other side, so let's move on. Okay, I've attached a floor panel to the end. Attach small triangles to the corners of each of the floor panels, making sure the triangles at the back are attached to the bottom floor panel. Attach a further two small triangles. Then attach a small floor panel. And then when you attach a small triangle to that, it gives you another angle. You can carry on adding small triangles. You can also delete the small floor panel. Carry on adding the small triangles. And of course you're going to do that for all four sides. And that's the foundations for your towers done. Now I'm going to manually select the stone doorway, the base version at this point, and snap them as so. Of course we're going to do that for all four towers. But keep an eye out for any that have found the wrong snap point, fix them before you move on. Then we're going to put a stone arch on either end. Manually select the top stone arch. You can find them by opening up the sub menu for each of the items. Delete the lower stone arch. Then place a base stone arch inside the towers so they're offset like this, making sure they find the correct snap points.
Once they're done, you can start building up the middle section of the towers with a mid stone doorway. Select a small stone panel. When placing them, make sure they snap to the correct snap point. Place floor panels as so. And then delete one. Select a timber arch, I went with the base variant. Turn snap off and carefully align it up with the edge. Now you can snap something on top of it. I want the glass panel. At this point the snap might be a bit awkward. You now can put the floor panel back. Build up your towers, bridge side. I went with the mid stone doorway. But for the bridge entrance, I went with the top stone doorway. And at this point, you should have something like this. Attach a sloping stone roof to either end of the tower. Build up the sides of the tower. You can go whatever you fancy. And then you can attach sloping stone roofs to both sides. And then if you wish, you can attach small stone walls. Now we're going to raise up the inner towers. I went up a further three mid stone doorways. And capped off with a top stone doorway. At this point, this is what I had. Okay, it's time to build the sides of the bridge. Place two small walls on top of each other. Delete the bottom small stone wall. Place a wall underneath. Attach a floor panel to the wall. Now you can delete the walls. Now green state a small stone wall. Do the reverse Y glitch and carefully center that wire. Do that for the other side as well. Green state a small stone wall. Do the reverse Y glitch and connect that wire to the bottom of the previous wire. Now you can delete the floor panel, the small stone wall and the top wire. And of course, do that for the other side. Of course you're going to do that for the entire length of the bridge. But let's Y glitch the arches in place. So select a top stone arch. Go into the wire menu, select the pickup point and hit wire in place at the same time. Attach an arch underneath. Attach a small stone wall one step up. Delete the top arches. And move the bottom arches up. And as you can see here, the arch has went on the wrong snap point. So when moving the arches up, make sure you're hitting the right snap point. And then the sides of the bridge will curve with the bridge footpath. And when that's done, you can delete the small stone walls. And of course you can delete the wires or you can leave them till the end. If that's too much of a faff, you can always do it this way. Okay, let's do the foundations for the tower at the other end. I've already extended it one floor panel. And the curved bridge is all done, so I can delete those wires. But if your towers are too high up, this is how you lower them. You can attach stone doorways underneath. But you can only go down one layer. So attach a small stone floor panel to the side. A stone doorway. Another small panel underneath that. And then another small doorway. When you got to ground level, you can build out the foundations. Of course, do that for all four towers until you end up with something like this. Then build your towers up from that foundation. Then of course, place some walls underneath. And 
when that's all done, you can fill in anything you've had to dig out. For the four outer towers, I'm going to put some floor panels inside. Then build it up with some small stone wall panels. And if you've got them, put flaming barrels inside and enlarge them up. Or you can put something else inside there. And if you haven't already, finish up the four inner towers. Leaving a gap facing towards the carved bridge. Attach three stone stone walls. Delete the bottom two. And snap a small stone wall to the top of that remaining short wall. Then you can delete that short wall. Reinstate the stone doorways. And then we're going to put two short walls and delete the bottom one. Do the reverse wire glitch underneath. And then from the inside of the tower, carefully line the wire up to that colour seam right there in the centre. Now attach a small floor panel. Go up two small walls. On the third small wall, do the reverse wire glitch. And attach it to the bottom of that one. And then delete the scaffolding until you're left with something like this. And you're going to do that all the way around. But remember, you go from the centre out. As that makes sure the wire direction is going the way you want it to. If you did it from the outside in, the wire would flip the other way. When you've done that all the way around, you can delete those angled wires that are facing inwards. And then we can delete those three walls again. Now it's time to build the suspension cables. Select the supply pipe. Place it on top of the floor panel that you did earlier on top of the tower. And then pull it to the centre of that arch. When you go to do your second one, you might get that pickup point. You can utilise that right now, but not for the one in the middle. But we'll get to that in a bit. Pay attention to your cursor. When it's X, it means you can't build. When it's a little dot, you can. But I'll carry on doing that for now. I'll be back when I finish this one quarter side. Okay, that suspension cable is done for one tower. We can reinstate the top stone doorways. So 
select a thin timber wall, Y glitch them around the top to create the roof. And then carefully delete those wires. That's one tower done. When it comes to doing the tower on the opposite side, you work your way into the middle. And then at the middle, you pull the supply pipe from the middle up to the tower. And that will give you a nice finish in the middle. For the top of the suspension towers, I've stuck some flags in the middle. And underneath the curved bridge, you can see I've got some short walls there to create the impression of a crossbeam. Let's put them in place. If you want to extend the bridge like this, like earlier, this is how you raise the stone arch and how I decorated the path leading to the bridge. Okay, let's create a door on the other end. Select a wall or a window, whatever, but turn snap off. Carefully line it up before placing it. Attach small timber walls on top of it with snap turn back on. Delete the window or wall, whatever you used. Select a small stone wall, place two of them, delete the bottom one. Reverse wire glitch one underneath it, carefully centre that wire. Reverse wire glitch a small stone wall at the top, pull the wire to the bottom, then delete the small stone wall and the angled wire, then wire glitch a floor panel to the top of that wire. Then attach timber frames to either side of that floor panel making sure the struts are facing inwards. And afterwards I realised if I'd made it slightly higher I could have put them to the bottom and the top and created a little drawbridge. Now you're free to delete that floor panel. Wire up the two power doors. Select a proximity switch, place it down the floor. Connect one side to the power doors, another side to the mains power. Now we can put that stone floor panel back in place, but if you've decided to go with that drawbridge idea that I didn't do, just move it half a step. That's it, we've finished the tower suspension bridge in No Man's Sky. I hope you liked the video, and if you did, hit that like and subscribe button, or on the bell thingy. And of course, thank you for watching. See you all later. Oh, and it's